Marcelino Quinones has now written and performed in two plays. I know he said we weren't talking politics. Both plays do have political protagonists, but speak to larger questions. The person behind the political mask, Marcelino Quinones, welcome to Square Off. Thank you for having me, Bram. Uh, for, I want to let folks know a little bit more about yourself. You're Director of Educational Outreach and Partnerships at Arizona State Universities. You have a Master of Fine Arts from ASU. You've been in the theater for quite a while. I've been very well versed in the theater, and, uh, and, and it's a joy to, to do that. So when we spoke a few days ago, you told me we all have a story to tell. How did you discover your story to tell? I, I think it was a process of reading. Uh, if I'm not working, I usually have my head stuck in a book. And so in reading all of those stories and understanding all of those situations, I began to reflect on my own uh, journey. And then it was time to put that on stage in some way. So what, what, what did you feel, out, out of, what did you take from that journey that had to be on stage? Well, I, that, I think, you know, the idea of hero and the idea of icons and what that means, the reality is we can all be that hero, we can all be that icon, and so it's uh, a matter of comparing those situations and then asking ourselves, how would I respond to that situation? Okay, heroes and icons, and now we're putting up some images from two of the plays, uh, two, the two plays you've written, uh, Elche, about Che Guevara, uh, certainly a non-controversial <laughs> figure, but not at all, <laughs> definitely an icon, uh, and more recently, Dear Senator. Uh, a play involving Grant Woods, who was rumored to be, who was considering running for the U.S. Senate. That just uh, ran a few, uh, about a, m a month or so ago. Uh, let's talk about, talk about uh, El Che. You produced that two years ago? Uh, yeah, my, my producer, Benny Morel, and I uh, put that on two years ago. Uh, so here's the story of El Che. In 2006, I was fairly involved with activism in the community, and I saw a lot of individuals wearing Che Guevara's shirt, and I said to myself, I'm not going to wear that shirt until I know who that person is. And so as a result, I ended up reading as many books as I could. Uh, my favorite is by John Lee Anderson called El Che. And as, as a result of reading that, I started to, in my mind, figure out a story that I could tell that was different from all of the other stories that have been written or performed about El Che. And my whole focus was to deconstruct the myth, the icon, and really put a human on stage so that, again, folks can begin to ask themselves, hmm, what would I do in that situation? And that's what El Che did. So that was two years ago. It was really well received and a lot of uh, ammunition to keep going forward. So a Marxist revolutionary. And from that, you moved to something a little less revolutionary. Dear Senator, mm -hmm. uh, you and Grant Woods, a two-man performance. Uh, and I'll okay, who are the characters in this? So there's two characters. Uh, uh, Grant Woods' character is Senator Jeffrey Blair, who's a two-term conservative Republican senator. And my character was named Michael Gonzalez, who's a young, liberal, activist, uh, community-involved member. And, and so uh, the, the story is about how two folks from completely different political ideologies can still engage in a meaningful and respectful dialogue and relationship. And if they focus on the issues and ideas that they have in common, they can get somewhere together. So the Arizona Republic Theater cri critic suggested this was a warm-up for Grant Wood's <laughs> potential run for the Senate in 2020. What do you say to that? I, I will say this. Uh, Grant was an incredible senator uh, on stage, and so if that's a little foreshadowing, uh, you know, that's, that's okay. So, but what is the thread that connects Che Guevara and your character and Grant Wood's character uh, in Dear Senator? I, I think the thread is this idea that uh, it's all about representation. And as a Latino here in this country, uh, I have a responsibility to tell those stories of individuals who happen to be Latinos, who are educated, who are well-meaning, who are hardworking. And so it's, it's always a question of representation and the sort of um, ideology or symbolism that you want on stage to, to be presented. I know you have at least one more play, probably more than that, in you. What, what do you think your next play will be? Uh, the next one will involve music. Music, a music. musical. Uh, uh, sort of like, um, there's a man by the name of Vicente Fernandez, who is the equivalent of Elvis Presley. Uh, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, Huge. exactly. Yeah. Uh, for all um, people of Mexican descent, uh, Vicente Fernandez is an icon. And so I really like to explore his story and, and, and see what lessons I can take out from, uh, from his journey. Wow, you, you don't bite off very small topics, do you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marcelino Quinones, thanks so much for joining us, and happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you, Brent.